guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? It's not roasting Jack Frost nipping at your nose Good morning guys, it's currently 9, 10 a.m. And I'm actually about to get started on my finals. I'm not necessarily going to start doing taking my finals exactly at the but for them i made a schedule of when i need to take them a lot of my finals like their due dates and everything weren't even released until this week so that's what i was just doing on my phone so i have everything in my calendar but when i get two classes done today and possibly take the final if possible i can take them tomorrow i like it tomorrow open which is when these two are due i just have one more assignment for each class i think that i'm doing today um one is for design appreciation, and I have to um, just turn in my project. We've been working on it the whole semester. Oh, it's been just finishing touches, many times, that in, and many that's ways, that assignment, which goes, but I have to turn that in with my actual final. So, yeah, sorry if this is boring, but this is what my week is like. Okay, this is what I'm gonna be looking like all week, baby. I'm not really excited about it, and yeah, but we'll get through it for semester. We gotta get it. So I have to do that and then for FYE I have to do one more assignment on our reading and then our final exam is in HSA and I don't really believe that it's like anything crazy this whole semester FYE has been super chill it's basically just like a first year thing for freshmen just to kind of like know the campus rules make sure that you're feeling comfortable make sure that you know how to find resources for other classes da, 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 yada, yada, yada. and yeah it'll probably ask like questions that are about like personal to me so that should be pretty easy to get done which i really want to get that one done today um the only reason why i'm not going to get i don't know if i'm going to get to the design appreciation one do or turn in today is because i have the project which i am like i said i've been working on it all semester but that might take up a little more of my time that i'm expecting but i'll just to say i'm going to be doing this pretty much all day i don't want to compact it all into one period unless i feel comfortable so if i can't get it done in one sitting and like be finished by the end of the day then i probably won't do that i'm gonna do my best i'm gonna just stick to one class at a time so i'm gonna go ahead and do design appreciation now and then once i finish this i'll probably take a break and then start FYE. but it's actually silent hours on our campus so i actually don't believe i was gonna go down and get some starbucks today but i don't believe that it's open which kind of sucks maybe i can pull it on a robot but I'm pretty oh, sure it's been seven hours. Like, so we have like a campus app. I don't know if you guys remember, but in a vlog a few days ago, um, when I went down for dinner, I showed like the robot. So those are what send us our food through this app. So I think they're open because the app doesn't say anything about un being unavailable. So coffee is ordered. And while I sit and wait on that, I'm actually going to get started. So it's going to be a pretty eventful day. Not really. I was hoping to get started a little bit earlier, but I actually went to sleep a lot later than I intended. So I'm going to sit here get started and I will see you guys when I sleep in coffee. No, I would not have to go. I didn't even know. I, had to, I went to the meeting. Now the robot is on his way. I'm literally like already at the pickup point. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Uh, Good morning. Here's your delivery. Yes, so 
as you guys saw, got my coffee. Now it's go time. I'm about to really get to work so that I won't have to be up like late at night doing it. Because some finals have like a early time submission, like random time submission. So I don't have one final that's randomly put like two, which normally everything else for this class is due at 11.59, which makes sense. It's a final, but like you just have to be, you have to make sure that you stay on it because you have to literally go check, go look at everything, make sure that you don't get classes mixed up and cook for the best. So, yeah, I'm about to drink my coffee, get to work. Sorry, this vlog may be pretty boring, but I mean, this is what I'm doing. So, it's finals week, and I need to stay on my shit. Do y'all want me to pass or not? So, I'm gonna do that, and I will see you guys whenever I see, whenever I get a break, whenever I decide to stop. Grind don't stop, though, baby. Grind don't stop. Mm. Okay. Wait, y'all, I actually just thought about it. I've never had this before. Let's give it a taste test on the camera. I got a venti peppermint white mocha frappuccino. Milk with almond milk. Add white chocolate mocha sauce. Add peppermint sauce. Add so whipped cream. Wow, it's crazy. I'm so sure. If you never tried this one, try it. It is so good. Wow, okay. Now I'm actually about to get to work, so I'll see y'all in a few. Alright, you guys, so I actually just wanted to update you guys um, on what I'm doing. So, I'm actually doing my design appreciation project, and so I have to sketch out this bed onto here. It's taking me a minute because I hate math. I'm pretty good at it usually, but I hate it, so I have to convert it to fit here yes, but to its exact it. measurement so it's kind of a struggle but i think i got it and yeah that so that's what i've been, been doing so good. far it's really kind of a struggle but i'm actually about to start coloring so I have my stuff here so i'm about to start coloring this this is actually this is like really rough but this is actually what i'm using so i already did my rendered floor plan if you know anything oh, about interior sad. design i already did many my rendered times, floor plan ways. Um, a while ago and now I just have to do this but now I'm sketching this wall onto here to scale so I have to do that and get the exact so these are based off of actual furniture pieces um, like this was me showing the top of this headboard um, or bed frame um, so now I have to sketch it this way so that we're looking as if we were standing and facing this wall instead of looking down on the entire plan so I'm just doing Sorry, it's not coffee, but I'm just doing this wall onto here. I know it may be kind of boring to you guys, but I actually love this stuff, and I actually think I did a pretty good job. I mean, obviously, it's a little wonky, but like, I think I did a pretty good job of doing this. I'm definitely not an artist, so I'm kind of proud of myself, but I'm gonna start coloring and get everything done. Although it's been said. Many times, many ways. Okay, so I actually think I'm finished with this so far. The only update that I've gotten to since the last time I showed you guys was this. So this side is the vanity side, and this side is just like a working desk. So I think I'm gonna put a storage unit here, but I'm not sure. I have to actually measure out the spacing and everything because I have to detect how much space is left here. But for now, I'm done. I do need to add lamps on either side and I want to figure out what I want to do on this wall. I don't want to leave it bare. But this is first one. I don't know if I'm gonna color the walls, add texture to the wall. Um, I'm not sure. But this is it for the most part. And yeah, so I'm actually going to erase this because I'm not using any of this and sketch this wall on there. But yeah, so it is currently 12.33 and I'm still working on this assignment, but it's cool because it's actually really fun. I'm just listening to music and doing it now, sketching everything. And yeah, I love design appreciation and I know I'm going to refer into the design, so like, this is everything. I'm genuinely enjoying myself. All right, you guys, so I'm coming in to update you guys a little bit differently than what I did for this one. So I'm actually struggling a lot harder 
to get this looking to get this wall mapped out i don't know why it's so difficult for me but like i think it's because i know that it's offset but it's like throwing everything off so what i did is measure the middle the from here to the door frame and this is what i got and i've been doing everything based off of that off of that but somehow i keep getting these dimensions like off I don't know what I'm doing, but I honestly might just look at this and hope that my teacher doesn't notice a difference. But I don't know why it's doing that. But yeah, so I'm actually about to start coloring and I'll show you guys the difference. This is the tea leaves. I have a shelf underneath the TV. I might even start coloring in here. Hopefully, I'll get some more paper. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Just put it right here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna put it on the wall. Yeah, but I'm gonna start coloring in here. Yeah, 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 I'm the space that I had to work with which in all actuality it is and so yeah so right now I am just going to start coloring sketch these out a little bit better and hope, hope for the best those chairs they're they're actually like harder to draw than you think okay they're kind of hard to draw all right guys so this is what I ended up working with um I'm not going to show you guys the comparison because I don't feel like going back to do it but and i'm sure a lot of you guys don't even care but yeah so i have my couch drawn and these are the accent chairs these are the side tables there's gonna be a coffee table but you won't be able to see it in this image because the couch is in front of it we have a shelf our tv got two vases on this side one tall one on this one and both of these have pumice grass and then so now i just have to figure out what color i want to do for these walls if i want to do an accent wall like i said i still have to find lamps to put on top of there but i have to figure out if i want to do an accent wall and i also need to start sketching out these walls on the sides yeah. um not too much on either side and yeah but overall it came out pretty decent i think i'm liking it i'm loving it time check is 155 if you can't see let's keep working on it's almost been a minute since y'all seen my face huh oh my gosh my head looks a mess that's all i'm gonna do baby but i wanted to update you guys on how my project was going so so I'm gonna put the camera so here is what we have going on i don't believe i don't remember the last time i updated you guys this is an accent wall and this is an accent wall yeah the only thing is i don't know i i definitely want to use these walls like this i don't think it's smart to add anything else to these two walls but i'm not sure if i want to add curtains or not to these windows is the only thing and if i were what colors would they be so that's what i'm trying to think out i did add the lamps nothing too crazy um just super simple and then i added this wall before and of course as you guys see the two accents i don't know if i should add curtains and if i do like good. i also finished this part though so these are the two the east and the west walls so this one right here, this one here. So I have those sketched out. And I also don't know if I want to leave these there. I don't think I want to add an accent since I do already have two accent walls. I think that's a little hectic if I add anything else. I do still kind of feel like something is missing, but I don't know what I want to do. This is blocked off because this is how far the door will open. Um, this entrance door here has to have a three foot gap might just leave it as is and call it a day i think i should just leave it y'all are right you should just leave it yeah so this is the finished product yeah, all right you guys i'm so sorry it's been a minute since i've did you guys but it's currently 701 i'm i'm writing down my study guides and filling that out yeah uh i'm so sorry that vlogmas day seven it didn't go up on the day that it was supposed to um i missed today because i'm sitting here and i'm going through my final stuff and sorry i just don't have the time it's i've literally been doing this all day long and i just haven't had the time to edit so and i don't want to just throw something out there like I, it. I will upload it tomorrow separately from this vlog so that you still get two separate vlogs it just won't be uploaded on that day sorry about that but i'm gonna get back to this really fast many times many ways all right so i actually haven't updated you guys in a 
bit it's actually if you can see the time it's 12.06 i did not end up getting vlogmas day seven up i really tried but i have too much to worry about with finals week so i'm just gonna upload it maybe tomorrow if i have time i think i will watch my finals but i've been working on this my project my mood board my rendered floor plan my furnishings i have four pages of furnishings and here is my images that I showed you guys earlier that I was working on. I don't know if I ever showed you guys them finished, but here they are. And then my finishes. So these are the accent wall colors. This is the main wall. And I think I'm done with my PowerPoint, honestly. I look so hit. Like, all those times that I said I look hit do not compare to today. But I am going to actually one more small thing to do for this assignment and it is to so i'm like starting to get to like you know when you're so tired and every little thing starts to irk you that's where i am like i'm just so over it one more thing to do for this project that i think i'm gonna just go ahead and do maybe this one page and then i'll be done y'all i can't so tired i've literally been doing nothing with schoolwork all day i did take a break though and i didn't update you guys because i really just needed to breathe but at around like say like eight ish i took a break for like maybe an hour and watched some tubes and had my dinner i just made some chicken nuggets i didn't even leave my room got back to work the funny thing is though i thought i was gonna get it i was gonna have way more than enough time today it all is done but it ended up taking longer I guess with this project i'm kind of like a perfectionist because this is my major so i don't think i've ever spent this long let's be real i don't think i've ever spent this long on projects but yeah i'm really happy with the way it did went i'm probably gonna end up framing this because i'm really happy with the way it looks yeah i don't care what y'all think i mean i think it look cute but anyways y'all it is a 12 11 and i need to figure out how to open it go ahead and finish this And then I might get started on one of my finals tonight because it is just an essay. So I'm about to look over what these words mean. Yo, I really don't know if I have the patience to do this tonight though. And I think I'm just going to wake up early in the morning. I can take the final for this class earliest at 8 p.m. Quick tip. I'm going to make this like a finals tip or whatever. It's really easy this year, first of all. So if you're struggling on your final, literally just write it down. You can literally just straight up cheat. I know that there's some classes who do require a lockdown browser, which I know my environmental physics class requires, which... That class is hell, like I already told y'all. Other classes are completely like, just take the quiz and you're finished. Um, So it's really easy this year. I got it easy my freshman year, so wish me luck. Even next semester might be different. Basically, just write down the study guide and you have the answers. That's just that simple. Another tip, if you have an essay to write, like last minute, pick up your phone go to your email click on the bottom corner to write a new message send type in your email type to yourself literally click to start typing press the microphone on the bottom my favorite flower is a rose because it reminds me of my mother period literally just start talking it'll type everything for you it'll make it so quick all you have to do is send the email to yourself go to your email copy it paste it into a google doc or a microsoft or a word dog. The fuck am I Sleepy, y'all. Sleepy. So do all that and then go back in and review because sometimes it does tweak some of your words. So you just have to make sure of that. Go back in, tweak a little bit, and you're literally done. Super quick. So that's a quick tip that I've been using since high school. I literally wrote a five page essay in one night in like four hours and got a 100 and something on it. So it saves you so much time. If you've never heard of doing that, we Please try it, I'm sure it will help you. Literally just talking to your phone and it makes it so much easier. All right, y'all, it's night two, being sleep deprived. I didn't end out this video because I was so tired, literally working from 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. 
I was exhausted, okay? I couldn't do it. So I'm so sorry. I will end the video out now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. The giveaway for today's video is going to be, since this is going up the same day as the other upload, why not make it two beauty boxes? So I'm gonna put a combination of makeup, skincare, hair products all into one box, and one lucky winner will be receiving that. All you have to do is follow all the rules that are in the description down below. Y'all already know. I'm doing it. But this is giveaway number seven. Giveaway number seven of 25 days of giveaways with K. So make sure that you're entering, and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.